Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Instagram slash Snapchat baddie tutorial. I was really inspired by Kendall Alfred. She is one of the first baddie videos that I watched and she just looks so bomb. So I was like, let me try to snatch myself up and make me look as bomb as she looks in her video. And hopefully I look presentable right now. And I kind of also wanted to test out the KKW new pigment slash gloss, this little situation that she came out with. If you guys want to stick around and see how I created this baddie look, then please go ahead and keep watching. So first things first is always some chapstick. Now we're going to go ahead and start off with our eyes. And that's just because we're going to be using the brand new Kim Kardashian West Beauty Pigments. Um, I think that's what they are. They're like these really cute pigments. And I actually have the gold one as well. I think this one is bronze, as you can see right there. And then this one is gold. Um, I think it's yellow gold. Yeah, yellow gold. So I think today, because I always do like gold gold, I think I'm going to do the bronze one. This one looks really gorgeous. And they come in pairs, so lip gloss and the pigment. So I want to see how these work today. I'm not sure if they're going to like be the best thing that ever happened, but we'll see. And before we start off with the eyes, I almost forgot to just moisturize my face. I'm going to be using the Essie Lauder Day Wear matte moisturizer this stuff is the bomb as you guys know if you watch my videos you know that i've been like raving about this so first i'm going to go ahead and use my mac painterly paint pot you guys know that this is like a uh, no-brainer for me i need this in my life all the time especially when i want to wear a lot of eyeshadow or just want it to really last all day long and i just apply this all over my eye I feel like this technique really helps, especially when you haven't put on foundation yet because you definitely want a base for your eye. We're going to be taking these brown shades in the palette and we're going to be using that for our eye along with the pigment. I'm going to start off with the lighter shade and we are just going to be placing that onto our crease. You can see it's super nice and blendable and the pigment is obviously there right away which is important to us. Then we're gonna take the darker shade of the palette and I'm using the palette medium in case you guys are wondering which contour palette I'm using. Yes, these are contour shades, but they work really well to contour the creases of the eye. Then we're gonna start applying it onto our outer edge, just on the outer edge. We're gonna leave the other half of the lid blank because we are going to be applying the pigment there. I'm going to be taking a Sigma E40 brush and we're going to be blending those two shades that we used from the KKW Contour Kit and we are going to just be blending them very, very softly so that there's no harshness. We want this look to be as soft as possible and then once it looks something like this, we're going to begin applying the other colors. And I just use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade medium. Okay, so now that we cut the crease, we're gonna go ahead and apply that shade all over the lid, which is the bronze shade by KKW Beauty. And I did go ahead and just set the concealer because we want to make sure that this is noticeable. I'm not sure how pigmented the KK Beauty products are, the new pigments, so I just kind of want to go ahead and have a base ready so that if it's not as pigmented, it's not like, you know, I have to start all over. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. It looks very pigmented when you see it on here, but it's not that pigmented. And I would say do it before you do your foundation. So I was smart today and I did that. Let me go ahead and do MAC Fix Plus because this is, um, I would definitely say maybe apply like a matte base that's similar to this glitter pigment so that it kind of can serve as a nice base for this pigment because this is very sheer pigmentation. If you don't use this wet, it's not going to be pigmented like this. I'm going to go back in with my contour kit and use the darker shade of the two contour shades and I'm just going to go back and enhance that 
If you need a dupe for this situation here, check out the NYX pigments. And if you don't mind and you want to splurge the money, then definitely check out um, the MAC pigments if you haven't done so already. Those are so great. And I know during the holidays, they tend to have like sets of pigments. So if you want to pick that up for New Year's or just Christmas, then this is the time to do that. Okay, so I went ahead and did my liner and I started to do my liner on camera, but for some reason, most of the times, that I try to do my liner on camera. I don't know what it is, my eyeliner just goes south. As soon as I go off camera to do my liner, it like it's perfect. So it's just the weirdest thing ever. But I went ahead and applied lashes as well and I am using the lashes, where are they? They're called Bronze Beauty and they are beautiful, they're by Allure. And you can find them at Ulta for $11.99 and they literally are stunning. Like they're dramatic but they're yet like still they look natural and they just look beautiful. They almost look like lash extensions. Like that's how beautiful these are. So I wanted to wear these today because I feel like everything else that I have right now is super dramatic. So I wanted to, and mind you, I have a lot of lashes. Like I have a box full of lashes, but these just like, I don't know. I feel like for the price and the way they feel and how they look, I just love it. So I would really recommend you trying these. Okay, so now that we went ahead and did our eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and do foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite you guys already know this if you watch my videos that i'm obsessed with the fenty beauty it's very hard for me to switch it up i also really like the becca um i think it's the blurring primer it's really really good the only problem with that one is right now that my skin's a little dry so i feel like this one is a little bit more moisturizing um my skin isn't dry everywhere but it's like certain areas where i feel like my skin needs a little TLC so that's why I kind of just use the Fenty Beauty because I know that one is just really good for smoothing out my skin and making it feel really soft. I have to say my top foundation at the moment is the Huda Beauty Fall Filter. This stuff is incredible. I feel like it's definitely one of those products that I can use and I always look at my skin throughout the day and I'm like, wow, my skin looks so good. And it smells phenomenal. I feel like I don't have to wear perfume sometimes. I know I've mentioned that before, but seriously, like the scent is so good. What better foundation to give you that batty look than a Huda Beauty fall filter? So many people purchased it. It was like sold out in a bunch of shades. I am in the shade baklava and I feel like it's perfect for my winter shade. Of course we're going to be using concealer so we don't really have to worry about really hitting those under eyes too much because the concealer will cover it up but I just go in with a little bit more and that will be great. And now I'm opening a brand new of the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. Guys, I've gone through three of these. This will be my third. Well, I've gone through two of them and this will be my third one in the past like six months. That's how much I use this stuff. That's how amazing it is. And I just go and outline my eyebrow, the top and the bottom. And I use it in number six. I could probably go lighter. I don't know. I just, I like how number six looks on me. We all have personal preference, right? So that's my personal preference. I don't know how people can talk when they do like certain things. When I do my brows and when I do my wing liner, I literally cannot talk because I'm so focused. I'm like, okay, get this right, get this right. And then the last thing I like to do is I kind of like to just flick the brow hairs in the front because they're still growing. So I kind of like, just like to give them the illusion that there's hairs on those ends and they kind of go up to be the same size as these so i just kind of because the pencil is so precise like its name i can really go in there and just draw them out and there we have it and then we're gonna do the same thing on this eye So here are our brows. They are snatched and ready to conquer the day. Now we're gonna move on to our concealer. We're going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And we're just going to conceal our under eyes. Okay, so I went ahead and just did some concealer. As you saw, I used the Sharp, sharp why do I keep saying Sharp Tape Tape? The 
Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Medium. So for contour, I'm going to be using my favorite KKW Contour Sticks. I actually just ordered a new set because I had my set which was literally down to nothing and I actually had a dark in that and the reason I got dark was because medium was sold out but I did notice that dark was a little too dark for me so I only used one side of the dark so I'm really excited to try out the medium ones now and I feel like this will be perfect especially because now that it's winter time I know for a fact dark would be way too dark for me so per usual we have our two sides I think I'm gonna go in with the darker side to do contour and then I'm going to go in with the lighter side to contour my nose. I love how smooth these are. I'm going to be using this brush. This comes in the set, of course. And now I'm going to go back into my KKW contour kit right here. And I'm going to take my brush this brush right here and I'm gonna just kind of enhance the contour just a tad and it's funny because I really don't contour that much anymore I do more of like a little bit of blush and that's it but I feel like Instagram baddies and snapchat baddies like they like contour and slay the fucking game so of course I need to, to mimic that okay then I'm gonna take the other side and do our highlight and for highlight, I'm actually going to mix both of the highlighters. And I know people really enjoyed her highlighters because they said they were super duper pigmented, which I was kind of surprised because I feel like Kim K is more of like a natural glow type of girl. She's not like an intense highlighting, but look at that intensity. That's some intensity. And then I'm just going to take my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And we are going to apply some mascara. I swear, when you get makeup on yourself, it's like a never ending trail of makeup everywhere. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the other side, which is the more like um, cool tone side. It's not cool, but it's like lighter than the other side. And we are just going to contour our nose a little bit. And the whole key for me is just kind of making it look a little bit more narrow. Then I like to go take this Kylie brush. It's just the brush that I've like used for it. Just my contour because it's kind of fluffy and it blends well. And I just start to blend that out. And then I'm going to use the KKW Beauty Contour Stick. Not the contour stick, but the highlight stick. And I'm just going to take a tad bit of the highlight which is really pretty it's like kind of like champagne and I'm just gonna go in very lightly on the tip of the nose and then the last thing we're gonna do is apply the gloss so we're gonna be taking the bronze gloss and we're gonna be popping this on our lips I feel like this is more of like a lip topper like a liquid lipstick topper so I'm gonna actually Go ahead and take a little tiny bit of this and let me see let me take a brush that I wouldn't normally use I feel like the only way you'll get more pigmentation is if you use the pigment on top of it this is the final look I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me get ready baddie style kind of wanted to incorporate the KKW Beauty products in this baddie video because I feel like Kim K whether you like it or not truly represents an Instagram baddie like she is like snatched all the time always has some bomb looks some bomb highlights some bomb contours some bomb braids and she's always just like slaying the game so I was like why not test these out and um, you guys saw my opinions this is just kind of like a a subtle snatch you know what I mean so if you guys enjoyed watching my Instagram slash snapchat baddie tutorial then please go ahead and thumbs this up I thought it was really cool to kind of like do something a little bit different not just like a tutorial but also incorporate different themes in it I feel like that's what makes it fun and I've seen a lot of Instagram baddie videos and I was just like let's do this so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed watching it and that being said I'll be seeing you guys in my next video, which you don't want to miss.